I was reading that they are trying to shit can this report that the IRD has been working on. About yes, I can tell you all about, about this. So heads up for everybody. We had that report came out from the IRD that was, I guess, um, given to them by Labour to please all by the government and and um, you may have been a part of it as well and I'm pretty sure too that's the one where they said three the 311 richest families mm -hmm. in New Zealand only pay something like 15% or 18% tax overall and my understanding is National is trying to pass under urgency now for that not to be released have we got it right what's going on Chloe? Yeah, so um, obviously in the last term of government, uh, the Greens were pushing Labour to actually do something about what is our foundationally unfair tax system. While we didn't manage mm -hmm. to get that through, we did manage to get uh, with the then Minister for Revenue, the Honourable David Parker, a commitment to greater transparency within our tax system, which then resulted in um, a huge piece of work by the Inland Revenue Department and subsidiary papers and research by Treasury, which told us, I think, what a lot of New Zealanders have suspected for a really long time, which is that our tax system is in fact fundamentally unfair. So you bang on Pat, what it found is that uh, the top 311 families in this country own combined I think it's $85 billion which is more Whoa. wealth than the t bottom two and a half million New Zealanders mm -hmm. but that's obviously not an accident that is a result of our tax system which disproportionately benefits those who accumulate wealth off of holding capital i.e. properties, shares or otherwise as opposed to those who earn their income via work and what that meant is that the top 311 families pay an effective tax rate less than half of that of the average New Zealander. It also found a number of other really important things, such as how that has massive ramifications for productivity, which obviously the right of our politics tend to pretend that they care about, uh, but don't really want to fix in terms of the fundamentals of our tax system. So in the wake of that report, uh, David Parker shaped up this um, piece of uh, legislation called the Tax Principles Bill, um, now ACT, which required IRD to produce a piece of report reporting uh, every year to talk to five core principles, uh, which included things like equity, to basically give greater transparency to the public debate and, you know, information, God forbid, so that we're all actually having a more informed discussion about what kind of economic levers we want to be using to achieve the supposed economy that all of us want in the first place. And now the Nets are repealing it under urgency just before Christmas. So yeah, that'll probably be up. Uh, we're potentially sitting until midnight tomorrow. So um, oh. I'll be Good fight. The chamber making the case that uh, it's ridiculous because I sat on finance and expenditure committee when this bill was going through and the Nats didn't oppose any of the principles within the legislation that IRD would be required to report against. They just were opposed to the presentation of this information in an easily yeah. public format. So the results problem, right? This seems to be a government who doesn't want us to uh, see their workings on most things with the regulatory, regulatory impact statements going away, they can, but yeah. they don't, they don't want, us to see the results presented to us, maybe because there are some people within the national circle, maybe one step removed from them, who probably aren't that stoked that those results got leaked, or not oh, even I leaked, but put out there. Yeah, it's, it's abundantly clear, actually. Um, and, you know, you have it on public record who the largest donors are to, uh, you know, those three parties of government now. And it just so happens there's quite a lot of alignment with the rich listers who probably, you can assume, were part of those 311 families. And yeah. that, I don't think that's an incredibly long bow. Um, this is how politics works, right? We get the politics that we think that we deserve. And this is kind of my call to action for everybody who's frustrated is do not get disenchanted and disengaged because that's exactly what the bad guys want. Now is the time to get proactively involved and engaged and don't let them get away with it.